What is up, everybody? Paul Wyrostek, Master Teacher, Channeler of Healing. Now, I want to do a little energy update here. I'm going to get into the new moon in Pisces because that is really significant to what is going on and what you may be experiencing right now. But first, we have some headlines right now. It's been on the news at like four main news channels um, worldwide. And this is something that I have been talking about for 25 years at least 25 years. For those of you who have known me for that long, you may remember me saying this. Uh, I've been on social media for about six, seven years. Uh, so if you go, you know, I have like over 500 videos on my YouTube channel, Ascending Spirituality, where you'll probably see this. Um, go back, go back somewhere in there and you will hear me talking about this um, on my Facebook as well. For decades, I have been talking about this I have had thousands or hundreds of dreams um, of this same exact experience, just different angles, uh, thousands of one-on-one -on -one sessions worldwide over 17 years. So I have experienced a lot in this realm, okay, that I'm about to discuss. So what are, what are some of these hundreds of dreams that I've had? UFOs, okay, ships coming out of the sky people walking out of their houses all at the same time it's a collective event military firing on these ufos and debris falling to the ground okay hundreds of these dreams and when you know 10 20 almost 30 years ago of knowing this to see it finally happening I, I mentioned in past videos over the past year um, that the UFO sightings, extraterrestrial stuff, you're going to start seeing it and hearing it on the news a lot more. And we have. This morning I woke up to um, on the news, three or four different news stations about how very recently four unidentified flying objects have been spotted. We all know about the Chinese weather balloon. It was a balloon, right? I wouldn't really call that a UFO or an extraterrestrial energy. But there was something over Lake Michigan, <clears throat> a couple things. And the one that stuck out for me is the one over Alaska near the Canadian border, where 35 fighter pilots were scrambled to find out what this unidentified flying object is. Some of the pilots said that this object was interfering with their navigation systems. Others said it wasn't navigating or uh, interfering with their navigation systems, but they had no idea how this object the size of a small car was propelling forward at 40,000 feet when there was clearly no evidence or visual evidence of a propulsion system. I believe they shot this down and they're about to find out what this is once they find it, if they tell us about it. But the point is, is this is on mainstream news. Why is it on mainstream news? Well, I've said this for a long time now. Millions of people are just waking up, okay? Some people are waking up on their own, but there is a time-sensitive thing that's happening here with the world, with the collective, with the matrix crumbling, okay? And... <clears throat> A lot of people are going to be jolted awake. This is like waking up a grizzly bear before hibernation is done, okay? So this is gonna send a lot of people into panic, a lot of people into shock. So this is why you're slowly over the years hearing about UFO stuff to, to salt and pepper you, to season you with this information that the bigger picture is unfolding out there, okay? Now, this this can bring panic to a lot of people. To me, it's kind of exhilarating because I've seen this for a long time. Uh, we have the new moon in Pisces, which is a very psychic type of energy, a very intuitive energy. So dreams are going to be magnified, okay? Your intuition, your abilities are going to be magnified, okay? This is a time of doors closing, new up, new beginnings, right? So Pisces is the last sign of the Zodiac. So we're opening up into new beginnings here. And the ego 
may be panicky right now. You may be feeling a lot of anxiety because there's this subconscious phantom fear type of thing with this ending coming up. So what happens is the ego may be feeling the heat, okay? Old wounds, childhood wounds, um, old fears, anxieties that are surfacing within relationships, within jobs, within, you know, um, your just your daily life in general. So there's a <clears throat> higher consciousness energy that's coming in. And with that higher consciousness energy, there is this feeling of kind of a panicness or a nervousness that's coming in and a fear, a fear that something something is coming or something bad is happening. But really, most of it is just its old energy that's coming up to be released, okay? So you can, the natural tendency of this occurrence is to want to retreat, want to run backwards, want to hide, want to scamper back in your, in your hole, okay? Um, this is a time we could go back could, could go back into old addictions or just go back into old limiting belief systems. Just become aware of that. When you're aware of that, you can shift the energy. So it's about raising that frequency to love, raising that frequency to creativity. All right. You have a choice. You have a choice to let this energy pull you backwards or you have the choice to use this energy as fuel as jet fuel rocket fuel as a catalyst to rise okay uh, you could use this as energy to, of ascension to make that choice and say no i'm releasing the old energy of fear i'm releasing the limiting belief systems and we're going into a higher frequency so this takes a, a level of discipline Okay, level of discipline and, and a little bit of work to say, no, we're not going to let the cobwebs set in. We're not going to let the dust collect on us, that we are going to shift that frequency. We're going to use this momentum to take care of the things of the past that have hold, that are holding you back, that are nipping at your heels that you may be running away from. This is a time to turn and face these things. So you may, the ego is, is kind of can, can be struggling because the ego is like, no, I don't want to go backwards, but you're not necessarily going backwards. You're going forward. The ego just doesn't want to do, say, the legwork that is necessary to move forward. So this is where the boots hit the ground. Okay. So this is tax season, right? You have to take care of these taxes. You have to take care of the insurances. You have to take care of the, the bills. You have to take care of the, the doctor's appointments and all this stuff. You have This is a time to cross the T's and dot the I's in the physical. New beginnings are coming. OK, and uh, with this extraterrestrial energy that is on the news right now, it is it is a it's a, a collective energy. So what happens with Jupiter affects the planet Earth. What happens with the planet Earth affects Jupiter. And same with our galaxy to the Andromeda galaxy, universes, billions of galaxies and universes. OK, we are all intertwined. What happens with one affects the other. So we, Earth right now is a squeaky wheel that gets the grease. Okay, so like it or not, we're all in this together. Okay, so be prepared. Much to come, much awakening. Don't be surprised if you hear a lot more about extraterrestrials, alien type of energy. Um, a time from, of dreams, a time of visions, a time of time of great clarity. So, so perfect time to meditate, right? Perfect time to meditate. Perfect time with all this inner old childhood wounds and programs that are surfacing that, that, that you've carried through adulthood. It's time to release this old energy. It's a great time to get creative. It's a great time to speak your truth and live your truth without fear. Not to be on the of the emotional roller coaster. Stay in the frequency of love. Try to avoid drama the best you can because drama will try to pull you in. Stay in the balanced level frequency of love. Don't entertain anything else but creativity, freedom, enlightenment, bliss, 
and new beginnings. Love to everybody.